teased. Before we get into the review, guys, I do want to give a huge shout-out to NECA for making this review possible. Thank you guys so very much for sending this figure our way. I am in love with this thing. I cannot wait to crack him out of his packaging. If you guys would like to pick this figure up, you can do so at Target in-store. You can pick it up on their official eBay and Amazon pages as well. So definitely go find this thing on eBay at NECA's official store or on Amazon or a retailer like Target. And let's go ahead and get into this review. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have our very first full NECA figure review here on the channel and it is on the brand new NECA Friday the 13th part 5 a new beginning dream sequence Jason Voorhees figure the movie originally released in 1985 and this movie um, is a bit controversial you know it's not like any other Friday the 13th film if anything it's similar to the original in the fact that uh, Jason's really not even in the movie he only appears a couple of times it's like in the intro and um, just in a couple flashbacks that the main character Tommy has but besides that he's not even the main killer and it, it's not a bad movie don't get me wrong it's not a bad movie at all however um, I didn't like that aspect of the movie you know growing up and watching part five I, I did not like obviously I wasn't there for the original but um, as I grew up and I watched the old Friday the 13th movies I was not a fan of that aspect I didn't like that Jason was not the main guy and um, you don't even learn that till later on however the movie's not bad for what it was you know they were trying to throw in a mystery or whatever but here is the figure you can see the box right here we have the original movie poster you have Jason's mask right there no chevrons on the thing you have what I guess is supposed to be Tommy right here holding the machete you got some blood there you got the name of the film Friday the 13th part 5 a new beginning spinning on the side you have a beautiful shot of Jason. I don't think that's the figure. I think that's just a render. If that's the figure, then they did a good job editing there. You got another uh, logo of the movie name. You got some action shots of the figure, um, some accessories. Really cool shot down here and here. I love that shot. That is absolutely beautiful. You got a picture of his gravestone right here. You got some lightning and rain and Georgie right here. Obviously, that's not Georgie, but you can uh, spin it around here and you can see this little read up. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it now. And then over here, we have the same thing that's on the the other side neck it down here and that pretty much does it for your box guys and uh, before I crack him open there is an open window and you can see that is a sick AF image right there I love this image of Jason coming out of the grave right there um, great looking background and everything I wonder if that's an actual background or if it's just a picture but uh, you do have a picture of the figure here all of the masks and these things that he comes with we're gonna crack him out of his packaging um, I don't really know what to do since you know we don't have another figure to explode him with so I guess I'm just gonna slam this really hard and create an explosion <laughs> So here we have Jason Voorhees out of his tomb, guys. Fresh out of the packaging, looking very incredible. Very excited for this figure again. Um, I'm actually shocked that we got part five. I didn't expect them to release part five, just given because of the circumstance. I'm glad we got it anyways, just because, um, you know, we want them all. We want to get them all eventually, and uh, hopefully um, we're going to get part seven soon. That's the one that I'm really, really looking forward to. I want part seven more than any other figure in this entire line. So hopefully part seven will be released in the next few years. I would love to see that. But what we're going to do first is take a closer look at Jason's accessories and then we're going to cover Jason Voorhees himself. So with this figure guys you do get quite the amount of accessories. I mean you can see you get four interchangeable heads, you get a tombstone, you get three different weapons and an interchangeable hand. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look at everything up close. First up guys it does include this bloody axe and this is from where Tommy sees him from his window and this is a very nice piece. You can see it's got bloody all, blood all over it and you can see it sort of it makes like a, a tree silhouette right there and on the other side it's a bit inconsistent there. I like how you see like the different layers of blood. It's like it's darker in some areas and are lighter in some areas and darker in others. You can see the wood grain finish on the handle. Very nice axe accessory. I think that's the first time we've gotten an axe with a Jason figure. I could be wrong about that. The second accessory that it comes with, guys, is this ice pick. This is from where he kills the first grave digger. You can see um, it doesn't have really any detail on it besides on the handle. There's a bit of a brown stuff on there. You got your silver on there. Very nice sculpt. It actually is kind of sharp. If you wanted to kill a bug with this, it would absolutely be necessary and you could stab him full through. So cockroaches can eat it and of course it comes with Jason's signature machete but uh, for this one it literally looks like you bought it straight off Amazon and it came in the mail like this looks has it has no wear in it at all there's no blood there's no dirt there's no nothing it literally looks like you bought it from Home Depot and uh, so, so there's his signature machete that Jason always comes with. Here is this interchangeable hand, and this interchangeable hand is to put on your Part 4 figure. Obviously, this is the iconic scene from when he chops Jason's hand in Part 4. So that is a really nice accessory. You can plug this into your Part 4 figure, and it'll be all good. 
Very nice details included on that. So getting into the head sculpts, guys, the first head sculpt that we have right here is the part from where they opened the tomb. You can see the worms are sculpted in there very, very nicely, as you can see with the axe chop in the mask and everything. It's very grimy and dirty because it is raining and everything, but very nice mask there. That is the first one. This is the one that it comes with in the packaging because if you look at the packaging, you will notice that it's supposed to be his tombstone and his grave, so uh, I guess it's like he's coming out of the grave when you open up the packaging. Very nice touch by NECA to include that with the figure. The second head sculpt that we have, guys, is just his regular one with mud all over it. You can see it's pretty much just like the worm one except no worms are in there, so it's basically a wormless head scan or a mask scan, whatever you want to call that. Very nice sculpt on this mask. I think it looks great and uh, not very much different than the worms besides it doesn't have worms on it. And then, of course, we have the one with the blood on it, and this is the closest one to part four. As you can see, it's a bit lighter. It doesn't have all the mud and grime on it. It does have the blood leaking down, and it does have some blood included on the back on his face. So that's a very nice head sculpt going right here. And I believe this is supposed to be from when he is standing at the end of Tommy's bed. So we get that interchangeable head scan. And then we have the more controversial head scan right here, which kind of makes it just, this is just insane that they even uh, made this. This mask, he actually never wore. This is actually from the VHS cover of the film. They put this mask on there. Um, I have no idea really why they went for a Mad Max Christmas Vacation style mask, but uh, it's kind of cool. I like that they included it, and the red in the background is supposed to be the, the lights that are coming through his eyes on the VHS cover. I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can see. I kind of like the mask. If you dirtied it up, I don't know. It may be kind of cool. It looks odd, obviously, but it's, it's pretty cool that NECA included that. And then, of course, we have his makeshift headstone from the beginning of the film. Jason Voorhees written on there, and it's just a wooden little pallet there with some dirt mound on there. Very nice accessory, but now that we've covered it, these accessories guys let's get into Jason himself so getting into Jason Voorhees himself guys you can see at the top we did uh, I went ahead and popped the uh, regular mask on there just because I don't know I just like that one the best probably I mean I love the worms one but he's out of the grave now so the worms fell out and uh, we got him looking right here if you guys notice there is a shine to the figure and that is because it's supposed to be um, him wet he's supposed to be wet from the intro obviously you can see it's like dark he got all the shiny going on they sealed it in like a shiny color um, to give it that uh, rainy feel like he's wet so so that is pretty cool. We got like a part eight Manhattan feel going with that part of the figure, but it's just his regular green dress shirt button down there. It's pretty much just like your part four NECA figure besides the accessories and then of course the shine and the darkness to the figure. Uh, going down into the pants, you do get, um, his his hands are pretty rubble, uh, rubber, so that it's, you know, pliable. You can move it around, get the machete and the axe and everything in his hands. I kind of wish that we got a different hand here so we could interchange the axe so he could hold it with both hands. Going down into the pants, you have his uh, rubber crotch there for, you know, better articulation. You have, you know, just his grimy, dark khaki pants there that have just been ruined by the rain and the mud and everything. So, uh, Jason's got pretty dirty now. Um, going down into the shoes, you got his regular boots there. Pretty nice details going on with all this figure. NECA always kills it with the details, guys. They always deliver. Um, so, if you're looking for a highly detailed horror action figure, especially Friday the 13th, you definitely want to go with NECA. I mean, they, I'm they pretty sure they are the only ones that even make the figures, and any ones that were made in the past are none on these levels of detail. So you definitely want to grab um, these. But that pretty much does it for the Part 5, guys. Not much different from the Part 4, but it is cool that we included a Part 5. Now we're going to get into some comparisons where I compare it to Part 4. So getting into Jason Voorhees' comparison, guys, you can see we have Part 4 on the left and Part 5 on the right, and like I said, I mean, it's basically the same exact figure. Better paint detail and you know the rain and the wetness and the mud on the mask and everything is pretty freaking epic you can see going down here uh, the, the lighter brown over here with the blood and everything the blood's pretty much washed off over here so you can't really see any blood again it's mostly mud and dirt and grass and grime and everything from him being buried or whatever so uh, yeah that's, that's pretty much it for your comparison I mean if I had to pick one, I think I like Part 4 just a little bit better. However, if you're Jason Mark, Friday the 13th Mark, you definitely need to grab the Part 5. Even though, you know, he's not even really in the film, you definitely want to grab it so you can complete your Jason Friday the 13th timeline. Very nice looking figure. But yes, guys, that pretty much does it for your NECA Friday the 13th Part 5, a new beginning dream sequence Jason Voorhees figure. Again, if you would like to pick this up, go over to NECA's eBay and Amazon official pages and grab this thing. They also sell in uh, exclusive retailers like Target and I'm not sure if you can get them at Walmart. I don't think you can, so definitely check out your targets. Definitely go online, pick up this on Amazon and eBay. 
If you guys enjoyed the review, let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like. Comment below what you like better. Do you like part four or five? Which Jason figure are you most looking forward to in the future from NECA? Another huge shout out to NECA for sending this figure our way and making this review possible. Subscribe to the channel for more epic horror and WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.